Well, welcome back to our buyer series here at the Muller and Barber Real Estate Team in Coastal Properties and Christie's International Real Estate. I'm Robert Barber. I'm one of the folks here on the team who helps out with both sellers and buyers. And today we're on number six in our series and we're talking about taking the stress out of home buying if that's even possible. But we're gonna talk about the 10 steps to do that. They're all gonna be down here below in the description or in the email, so take a look at those if you wanna take some time to read and if, uh, if you're tired of listening to my voice. Um, but anyway, so here they are. Here's the 10 steps to taking the stress out of home buying. The first one is to find a real estate agent that you connect with. Now, um, I feel a little different on this one in, in because I want to make sure that there's some clarity about to connect with is you're not looking for a friend in your realtor. What you're looking for is you're looking to hire a professional who is proficient, who knows your expectation, who cares about what you're what your interests are and knows how to do a good job. So you're not looking for a friend, but you're looking for someone that's gonna connect with you on your goals, the things that you're trying to achieve. So that's number one. Number two, remember there's no right time to buy and there's no right time to sell. You have to look at your particular circumstances, understand that they are yours, you can take a look at what's happening around you and take that information in, but really, there is no right time to buy or sell. You have to look at your circumstances, just understand those and make the decision to move forward. Number three, don't ask too many people for their opinions. You've heard me talk about this before. I've seen people paralyzed by having too many opinions coming in from so many directions on what they should do. You need to make the decision for yourself and for your family together that what's right for you. Because at the end of the day, those opinions are gonna go away and it's gonna be left up to you and your family to live with the decision. So listen to yourselves and what's right for you and the experts around you, whether they be lenders, the insurance experts, and your realtor. Number four, accept that no house is perfect. I have never